The St. Joseph Land Bank Board continues searching for initial funding to get the ball rolling on purchasing blight properties in the city. The group met this afternoon, hearing an update on their funding options from City Manager Bruce Woody. The board will eventually have money of its own once they begin generating tax revenue from the properties they sell. However, they're looking for funds from the city to get the program started. Those include the gaming fund, the landfill fund, and other funds. And the concept would be that once those are appropriated, there would be a line item in the city budget for land bank, uh, where that money would then be allocated then for our use going forward. The board also approving an initial draft of their policy procedures and mission statement today as well. Also meeting today was the Land Bank Advisory Committee. It's a group formed at the city's request who, tasked, who are tasked with providing recommendations on strategies and possible properties to the Land Bank Board. The committee says they want to hear from different neighborhood associations. They heard from two today, those being urban homesteading and a program that would look at attracting skilled laborers, both men and women, to St. Joseph to renovate homes and from the Community Alliance on their Imagine Cathedral Hill 2040 plan, which aims to revitalize homes in that neighborhood. We're now looking at issues with placemaking, what steps need to be taken to identify blighted buildings to help that neighborhood and help that neighborhood grow, and the hope is that that will be a template then that can be applied to other neighborhoods in town. The committee was also divided into two subcommittees. One will outline their responsibilities and goals, while the other will begin lining up potential properties.